You know what's funny? As a child, a teddy bear has always been your best friend. Helps you out, somebody to talk to. It even helps you fight the darkness. Because most kids are afraid of the dark. And the most reliable thing is your stuffed animal. And here we are with a teddy bear with one mission to protect Ellie's bedroom from the dark forces. Welcome everybody to this review of Stuffed, which I'm playing on the Xbox Series X, also available on the Series S. And this is a free review copy that I was obtained from Keymailer. So let's get into this, shall we? Stuffed is a simple concept. You fight in waves during each night to stop the monsters from getting to Ellie's room. You'll be fighting an assortment of gnomes, ducks with fangs, robots, and then these tall, giant shadow creatures. Honestly, the arsenal that you have is very, you know, it's rare in a way because you first start off with this slingshot. That's a paintball, I think it is. And of course, you have popcorn grenades, which is very creative when you think about it. But again, the main objective is to protect Ellie from these dark forces each night. Honestly, it is a tough game for a simple concept. The controls are pretty linear when you have to go into the strafe and halt. The concept is pretty simple. You can level up your bear as you go to the toy repair area. Depending on the level, you will find it on the top floor, bottom floor. Either way, it's going to be close by Ellie's room. You'll have ammo points. It's pretty much like a cute version of Left 4 Dead as you go around. The small map to acquire more grenades, repair kits, self-revive, and other items to help you fight against the forces from stopping them from banging on a door. And if they do reach the door, you got a certain amount of health that the door is going to be in before they break in and get to her. Or you end up getting destroyed and they get in. But it's kind of, it has a weird creepy after ending when you fail and it shows them getting through the door and then the red light comes for Ellie and it's like, Ooh, they don't show really much, but I would rather show an animation of what would actually happen if they got in. Other than that, this is a so far an interesting game. It has online co-op, but sadly it's only on the PC version. I didn't see a feature to have to join anybody or add people on the Xbox version. Ah, that's kind of a downer for me. Like I said, the control scheme is interesting and weird at the same time because you can either click or hold down the sprint button. Like I said, it's a simple, simplistic FPS kind of horrific game, but in, on a simple aspect of it, not too bad. I'm, I'm not going to knock it too much. It's, it's pretty cute, it's interesting, and it's funny in many ways to see these little... It's, it, it plays on a kid's fear, and as an adult, if that reaches you as an adult too, it's just weird to think about little gnomes and wind-up duck toys with fangs coming after you especially robots, and each of them have their own durability status. Especially the tall shadow creatures will take a lot. Sometimes you'll get extra styles of weapons like a soda cannon, or like I said, the personal favorite is the popcorn grenades, which is very unique and funny. You can buy more of those on a different floor. And yeah, as you progress, you can gain more um, money, and you get coins at the end of each wave if you fail to buy other stuff like weapons, customizations, for your bear to make them look unique. Simplistic. They are pricey, but it's not too bad. Other than that, uh, uh, as somebody that played many different first-person shooters out there, I could see this being more of a kid-friendly aspect of it. It's not much real sound design that makes it much more different or unique or creepy in that aspect. It's just a weird style of game that you have to do. You go through different houses, Depending on the wave, and you just gotta survive the night. It's a playable loop game, which is pretty cool. I can see the fun that you can have with other people. Like I said, sadly, there is no online co op for the Xbox version, which I hope they add later on so I can actually have more people join me. My final thought I'm gonna give Stuffed a 3.5 out of 5 Beastly Paws. It's an interesting title, not gonna knock it, and it's pretty good for all ages, to be honest. Something for your younger audience to get into before they get into more N-rated types of games. But check it out for yourself. I'll put the link in the description below. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And stay, no you know, it helps you stay notified. It helps me out as well. Sorry for my voice. I've been sick for this past week. But other than that, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you again for the support. As always, be stout.